world is how you choose to see it. You might have to overcome a lot of things, but that in no way should define who you are. I can remember plain as day, the day they walked in to my hospital room and said, you might need a new heart. You know, my life has been amazing. When I went to high school, there were 30 black people out of a 500 plus graduating class. And I became the senior class president. I became an All-American basketball player. Then I went on to college to play varsity basketball. After that, I became a coach, recruiting people like the great Moses Malone, number one player in high school. After that, I got a job at Nike. At Nike, I've worked with some of the greatest superstars on the planet. Barkley and Michael Jordan. Here I'm walking in the meeting late. Michael has never let me live that down till today. Never. He said, you're our first meeting and you walking in late. But it actually was a great meeting. One day, I tried to walk up some steps at work, and I was like, good gracious, I can't be in this bad of shape. My wife, she had said, I'm like scared to go to sleep at night because I don't know if you're gonna stop breathing or not. So she said, you know what, we're gonna go to that emergency room this evening over at Providence. My impression of Howard is that he was a very positive person and sees the best in everything. So when we first began treating Howard, he resumed his usual positive spirit and was very forward-looking and very positive the whole time. But from the medical perspective, he was clearly in congestive heart failure. He continued to have worsening symptoms, which led us to pursue evaluation for a heart transplantation. He said, I might have to get a new heart doc. He said, yeah. So perfectly for me, I said, okay, well, what's the next steps? What do we do next? When I think about how the best teams work, it is a collaborative effort. When I came in to get my heart transplanted, I just saw these doctors. They were a team. What I did not detect were any egos. On 12-28-20, my new birthday, they put that heart in. It fit in there like it had always been there. And here I am, still today. <laughs>